Hi boys and girls. Today's book that we're going to be reading today is going to be about habitats. A habitat is where an animal lives. So let's watch this video. You ready? Let's go! A pond is a habitat. This is a pond. It has still fresh water. It is smaller than a lake, but bigger than a puddle. It's also a habitat. A habitat is a place where plants and animals live. Some habitats are cold and icy. Some are hot and sandy. And some are cool and rocky. <laughs> a habitat has everything the animals and plants that live there need. A pond is a perfect place for many plants to grow. The muddy ground around the pond soaks up rainwater like a sponge. The wet soil is just right for growing tall reeds and grasses and these funny looking plants called cattails. Some plants, like these lilies, grow right in the pond water. Ponds are usually buzzing with insects like mosquitoes, beetles, and dragonflies. These insects are water striders, and they can walk right on the surface of the water. Other tiny animals live here too, like snails and centipedes. All these bugs and plants are nutritious food for some of the bigger animals that live in and around the pond. So where are all the other animals that live here? To see them, you have to be still and quiet. Shh, do you hear that? That was a frog. Frogs live here. There are lots of insects for them to eat and places to hide so they won't get eaten. Now you see it, now you don't. <laughs> Shh, what was that? It's a mother duck and her babies. She made a nest close by. It was camouflaged in the grass so the eggs would stay safe. Now she is taking them on their first swim. They will spend most of their days swimming around and eating plants and bugs in the pond. Shh, did you hear that sound? It's a busy beaver. It's chopping wood. This beaver is building a home called a lodge in the middle of the pond. That's where its family will stay in the winter when it's cold. Oh, look over there. There are some turtles on a log. They spend some of their time swimming in the water and looking for food. And some of their time resting in the warm sun. Some animals spend all of their time under the water, like these fish. There are big fish and small fish that live in ponds. And the fish bring visitors to the pond, like this heron. Got it. Thanks for visiting, Mr. Heron. Ponds are often very close to another habitat, the forest. Animals from the forest come to visit the pond to get a drink. The pond gets lots of visitors. If you are ever lucky enough to visit a pond, remember to be very careful. Even shallow water can be dangerous. But also remember to be quiet and still. You might see some beautiful creatures. Just be sure to leave them at the pond because that's their habitat.
All right, guys, so we learned about a few animals that live within the pond. So your task for this week is to make a list of three animals that you saw that lives within the pond's habitat. For example, there was frogs, ducks, beavers, herons, or the water strider. With your child, take turns acting and guessing the animals. For extra fun, try making the animal sounds. So la actividad de esta semana, van a tener que escoger tres animales que viven en el pozo. Y de ahí van a escribir de esos tres animales. Por ejemplo, hablaron de las ranas, el pato, el castor, la garza, el insecto zapatero. Con tu niño, tomen turnos para imitar y adivinar los animales para hacerlo más divertido. Intenten imitar los sonidos de los animales.